live from E3. I'm your host for the moment, uh, David Craddock, contributing editor, and I'm joined today by Aaron Cahill and Matt Mercer, who are voicing Rebecca and Leon, respectively, in the uh, upcoming Resident Evil Vendetta movie. Yeah. Uh, that was a mouthful, but I think I got it all right. You did, you got it right. Yeah, right, right, right. Out of the gate. So I'm a huge Resident Evil fan, and I know, uh, Aaron, I think this is your first time voicing Rebecca. Yes. Right? What, how, what was your introduction to the character? What did you know about her and Resident Evil like coming into this? I actually, Matt knows, I feel so lucky to be here because I, I knew of the Resident Evil universe, but I was not very familiar with... Um, scrappy with Rebecca at first. Scrappy Rebecca. Right. And how loved she was. Sure. So... When I knew I was auditioning for it, I watched Resident Evil Damnation, but Rebecca wasn't in there. Right. So I had a limited scope of the world. Of course, I knew about the video games and I'd seen, just seen things in, in the ethos. But um, I know so much more now that I've done it mm -hmm. and as so much more about who she was in the past. I mean, I learned that as we were filming, but much more now from fans and from doing press stuff. And I'm, yeah. This, so is, I'm, this is one of those properties where fans are watching you both with the eagle's eye, right? Oh yeah, it was this beloved franchise from the beginning, man. <laughs> when, I, when I first took on the uh, the mantle of Leon, like six, seven years ago, uh, I'll never forget the moment I got the the call and was like, "Yes!" Oh, don't mess this up. All <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Oof. No pressure. Right, no yeah. pressure, no pressure. <laughs> this is kind of a cool pairing for me because I think Leon and Rebecca are two characters who haven't interacted much in the game, so I'm really looking forward to seeing this movie yeah. to to kind of see the two characters yeah. interact. So, man, I wonder if you could set the stage. What is uh, what is Vendetta about? Because it's been a few years since Damnation. It has been a few years uh, since Damnation and Six. And what you do is you get to see, uh, for Leon at the very least, you get to see how his previous experiences have affected him. The kind of PTSD and the survivor's guilt and the reality that the, all the things he's done just doesn't seem to really make a difference if this keeps happening. And him coming to terms with whether or not it's even worth it to throw his hat in the ring again and, right. you know, try and make a difference and then you have Chris who's trying so hard to still be the soldier to be that survivor and to do his job no matter what aggressive stance it means to, to make that happen right and then you have Rebecca that comes in as the not just the the voice of reason but the heroic voice to kind of hopefully smack them out of their you know respective masculine pitfalls and <laughs> actually get things done because Rebecca's yeah. been through the ringer at this point too oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah right. <laughs> so I wonder if you could give me an overview of uh, Rebecca slash Aaron, what, what is Rebecca, put me in her shoes, what's she got going on in her head right now, where is she in this movie? Uh, that's a great question. I, what we've been saying is I love the fact that the audience, you know, the, the, the fans haven't seen Rebecca in almost 20 years, right. and you saw her as a, as a young adult, um, you know, just about to leave her teen years, and now you see her as a fully formed woman. She's this brilliant scientist, and she's out making a difference in her life, and then you come in, and you get to see her in all the ways, you get to see her use her brilliant mind, and then you get to see her be heroic, and you get to see her wrangle the guys, and you get to see her be vulnerable, and you get to see her be right. scared, and and you get to see her kick a little ass, and uh, it's it's really great because you, you you come into her and you really get to see all the all the aspects of her as an adult, or a lot of them anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. So yeah. you know, you're kind of a pro at playing Leon now, and Leon's sort of pro. Uh, and you talked about how he's having some, some PTSD because he's been through this ever since the Raccoon City incident. Oh yeah, first day on the job, man. Talk very about bad first luck day on the him. job. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I wonder if you could uh, walk say. me through a little bit more about what fans can expect for Leon's journey in Vendetta. How is he going to deal with this? Uh, well, I mean, that, I don't want to spoil too much. Don't that, spoil that, too that, much, that, though. That's, right? that's kind of what you go to watch it for, is right, to see right, that right. journey. That's right. Uh, I will say he's used to being a loner so yeah. it does help to have some other familiar faces at his back even if he hasn't necessarily worked with them in the past so much he knows of them and their reputation that probably bolsters him a little bit um uh the the more cynical he gets the more aggressive swagger he displays in times sure sure um so you can definitely look forward to that aspect of leon from here and there a couple of he's just the master of one-liners so you know he gets to have that <laughs> ridiculousness yeah yeah um and the action sequences that he and chris get into and you have an awesome action sequence too it's just it's it's just fun to watch it's just sheer like visual joy to see some of these scenes play out that's that is such a good way to put it during the screening so we went to a screening at sony a couple months ago so we got to see a pretty early cut All right i mean we were gasping cheering yeah. i've seen enough you know major motion picture you know fast and furious movies to be like cool action i know action there are moments where i was like what 
<laughs> yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, so I'm excited. And it's CG, so you can kind of stretch those bounds a little bit. You can do things that other exactly. actors wouldn't oh, be able yeah. to do, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, tell me a little bit about the process, because I've always been interested in going behind the scenes in a CG movie. When you're working with a script, do they tell you, okay, this is what's going on, and you need this intonation, because you're flying through the air, you're grappling with a zombie. What has this been like for you, Aaron? Yeah. yeah. Oh, for me. Oh, sorry. I was like, I was like, Matt. Um, well, I'm gonna get to him. Yeah. The first <laughs> um, yeah. It's exactly like you, you said. Uh, you get directed. You know, you see it in front of you happening. So you're in the booth, kind of just, you know. Uh, right, uh, right, or, right. Or my favorite was there was one when I it was a really scary moment. Do you, like the, the suspense before. I know one, yeah. yeah <laughs> there's like little suspense, and I and I remember we did this one gas. I'm not kidding. It felt like eight times to get it exactly right, like, <sighs> you know, yeah, it was right, like the right. most subtle, minute. Subtlety. <laughs> and, and that's what makes it so beautiful when you watch is, I mean, you're so solid. You're so talented, um, truly. But like, it's so cool to have like all those little tiny moments that right. really flesh out the movie and the character. And, sure. and so it's a super fun challenge to get to do it all. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. It's one of those, uh, well, three each part of the process too, because if you're just doing animation uh, in kind of a void. If you just have a script in front of you and you're creating, then it's definitely a, I have no context, please tell me director as much as you can so I can get in the ballpark. Right, right. Then if you have ADR, like we did after the after the mocap and everything was done for this project, which uh, you did a little motion capture for Rebecca as well, so you had the initial, you know, the memory of being in those sequences and playing off of your own performance. I was doing my ADR to, uh, to Jason Font, who had done the motion capture for Leon and a few previous sure. projects as well. Sure. So for me, it's not just, it's reading somebody else's motions and trying to fit natural sounds and my natural voice into somebody else's physical performance, which mm -hmm. is a very unique challenge in its own sure. right. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's 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 a blast, and it's it's kind of a cool uh, series of, of of unique. It's almost like a mini game. That's way I can put it. Right. It's like okay, how can I fit this natural performance within this time period to make sure to hit these vowels and this motion lips at the same time, but also have the physicality of them hitting the wall uh -huh. and then ducking low, but also at the right volume level with the right amount of texture, <laughs> where it's not going to let the guys that they're stealthing past. Wow, it's a yeah. lot of layers you have to be concentrating on in that moment, and uh, I don't know, it's a, it's a fun challenge. Yeah, yeah I told Matt I feel like this about it. I'm like, that's crazy. <laughs> I ADR'd my own myself, and that was challenging enough, you know. So. Now, you're new to the Resident Evil franchise, but um, do, you, do you play games at all? Are you, do you I dabble much in there? Ashamed to say that I am uh, not a gamer, mm -hmm. but I, I love the culture and the world. And because, of, because I was a Power Ranger, I've, I've, kind of, I've been to a lot of conventions, so it's like I love cosplay, I love all of it. I just don't know as much of it. And sure, sure, sure. That's what I tell him now. I was like, I want to play D&D with you. Like, I love, I'm learning about this world. <laughs> And now you're at E3. You're in the thick of it. I I am like, I mean, I'm so, my eyes are saucers. I'm, awesome. I can barely focus. <laughs> are we talking? Am I talking? What's happening? I know. Yeah. So I'm, so I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I'm learning. And it's funny because I do have an Xbox. I've had one for years. And I have like the, the, the motion, the, the movement one. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys, seriously, that's how... Sorry, sorry, everybody. <laughs> well, it was it was great to have you both here. I'm a huge Resident Evil fan, like I told you before we sat down. I'm really looking to see uh, Vendetta. And thank you both for being uh, on. Thank you for having us. Thank yeah. you for having us, David. It's great Absolute to meet you pleasure. both. Great to meet you, and, too. And uh, we will be back soon. Uh, follow us uh, at Shack News on Twitter. And we'll be back shortly. <laughs>